Hello lovely people! Welcome back to the Jessie and Claude show. Oh, there's a Jessie and Claude show. I made it into a show. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know that was a last minute decision, but I'm running with it. In today's episode, <laughs> see it's a show, okay. I did a thing. We're going to be answering your would you rather questions, Ooh. Ooh, which I asked you on our joint Instagram, but told you to make queer flavoured. So these should be gay. Okay. And we're going to answer by putting our fingers up for one or two, so no conferring. Oh, okay. Can we manage to not confer? No, we'll probably not. No. <laughs> we'll do the one or two, and but then we'll like look at each other and be like... Yeah, because we could compare in sign language, but like down here where no one can see. <laughs> However, before we begin that, we have yeah. a big announcement. <gasps> do we? I told you before we started filming. <laughs> Today we are releasing the limited edition Because <laughs> Gay Merch. Oh yeah! My plan is at the end of every month to release a new merch design, which will be very limited edition, running for two or three months, depending on popular Ooh, demand. Exciting. It's available in the merch shelf down below, which you may be able to see, but if you're a country that doesn't support the merch shelf, or well just today it's randomly not working because YouTube, the link is in the description down below. It comes in a range of items and colours, and I'm really excited about it, yeah. and I'm going to get a and range I just, of things. And I just realised I am not wearing the appropriate attire. <gasps> I should be wearing your merch, and instead I'm just wearing a YouTube jumpsuit. You said you'd wear my merch! Oh! I know, I'm sorry. Right, pause! Wait, let me just do the magic of editing. Yay! That was nicely done. Let's begin. We had some really, really good questions. The one I remember was, I was like, would you rather have three weeks without Walter and Tilly yes. or three days without each other? Did but. Missing Claudia make people think that I'm the only one who yeah, has I just, issues with I us being apart? <laughs> I do. I'm just being Such like... lies. <laughs> You're as obsessed with me as I am with you. First question comes from Evelina and Clara. Thanks, guys. Uh. Would you rather be without the other for a week or Walter and Tilly for a year? I don't know that that's Claudia for a week and the dogs for a year that's is like not, a, that's some, not, a fair compromise. No, well, clearly it would be like give up me for a week, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like you can just go on a trip. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's a terrible, we to, haven't even done the one in two. Do you think they're trying to aim that slowly at the fact that they want Walter and Tilly for a year? Well, That's what it is. Evelina and Clara are trying to steal, steal the dog. dog. The three weeks and or three days one. I said I'd think I'd rather if you suddenly just disappeared with no explanation and I had no idea when you were coming back, as was the same with the dogs. I'd rather the dogs disappeared for three weeks, but me not knowing when they were gonna come back. Because at least then I could be like, Where are the dogs, Jesse? With you. <laughs> but if you had gone for three days, what am I gonna do? The dogs and me would just go stir crazy. Yeah, I don't know that kidnapped. I didn't like, say kidnapped. I no, no, no. <laughs> I've mysteriously gone. I feel like the police would worry a bit more about your wife than the dogs, well, exactly. and that should give you an indication of how much you should worry. They'd question me a lot first though, wouldn't they? Like, sure, you'd be a suspect. Is that the aim of this game though? <laughs> would you rather have a rainbow coloured moustache for the rest of your life, or have to eat a dozen snails every time you said LGBTQIA plus wrong or stuttered? <laughs> You're gonna have a rainbow coloured moustache forever? Actually, I really answered that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I could just learn to say it properly. LGB... LGB... C? It's unfair as well, you should have an exception. I have like, lexicon... Loxic, like, I have SL whatever it is. S-I-L? Yes. So I think I'd rather just have a moustache called <laughs> rainbow coloured, friend. But it's you could shave colored. it, and it would just be like oh, it rainbow... it grows back from a rainbow every day. Oh, and does then it? <laughs> Would you rather see each other every day for a few minutes or see each other once a month for a whole day? Yeah. Hey! We keep you in touch more. You can catch up with your oh. last. What happened today? Yeah. What's happened in the last 24, the last 24 hours? hours? Oh my god, I love Yay. you so much. Yeah. Bye. Have a quickie. Yeah. Would you rather Kate McKinnon or Ellen Page? Which one's Kate McKinnon? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's an answer. <laughs> No, she's the blonde one that looks a bit like Evelina that was in Ghostbusters. Yeah. Oh my god, she looks so much like Evelina. That's weird, can't date Evelina. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, we can't choose number one because she looks too much like Evelina. No, 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 it's fine, we have to answer the question. Well, I guess we're both going with Ellen Page. No, I was actually going to go with... Uh, you were actually going yeah. with Evelina? No, okay. it's not Evelina! <laughs> she smiles more. Than Ellen Page. Most people smile more than <laughs> Ellen Page. <laughs> I just don't fancy either of them. Is that alright? <sighs> Is that why someone asked? Would you rather be a Disney princess or date a Disney princess? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I do not want to be a princess. 
specifically for Jessica. Would you rather never wear dresses again and be with Claudia, or wear dresses and be with a man? Ready? No, would you wear dresses or your wife? <laughs> Good. This is not really a question. It's, it's like okay. your identity is more than what you have, how you outwardly express yourself. Yeah, it'd be fine. I will, I'll wear flannel. Would you rather adopt a baby or use a sperm donor? I mean, that's a bit harsh as well, because... I want both, though. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, depends on the situation. Again, I'm really shit at this game, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> we want to do two, number two first, and then number one after. Would you rather kiss Belle or Ariel? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. That's obvious. She's got an obsession with redheads. Also, Ariel's, like, way more fun. She is fun. I just feel like there'd be consent issues. Belle has some issues, yeah, fine. Ariel's not all there, though. I don't know if any of the Disney princesses are all there, to be honest. Hey, Mulan's got her head screwed oh, yeah, on. That's true. You leave her be. Mulan's my favourite. They all talk to animals. None of them are okay. <laughs> we talk to animals. <laughs> Would you rather be in the closet your whole life but be dating, or be out but never meet each other? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you would rather oh, be sorry. out but I didn't never say... meet me. I misread the question. I see dating as in like going on lots of dates with different people. Right. I didn't mean. I didn't think it meant with each other. I see. Well, or... the opposite was be out but never meet each other. Yeah, because obviously you're my soulmate in That's this. That's implying like... number one includes me. A lot of people ask this question. But if it was, would you rather be in the closet uh... with each other? Like, do our parents not know? Are we just friends? Are we just flatmates? If we were lived <laughs> in the 1950s and had to be that in the closet, yeah, we'd just be two single ladies, spinsters. <sighs> Who live together. I think people would know we weren't, weren't. Everyone knew people were gay, Claudia. They just didn't <laughs> talk about it. Would you rather make any character you want in any fictional universe gay, even if they weren't before, or make it so any existing gay characters get a happy ending? Yeah. Hey, we made the gays happy. And also, that's a selfish reason. Like, it's basically just saying it's just like shallow, shallow. It's a shallow answer. It's like I really fancy this person, so I want them to be gay. Also, if all gay representation had happy endings, that would do yes, great, great. wonders for the world. Exactly. Would you rather go back in time to give a pep talk to your younger self, or travel into the future to have a conversation with your future self? Ooh, Ooh. I like this though because you'll know what happens to my future uh. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm fine right now. I don't really need to have a chat with my future self. But I was probably quite sad. To be fair, a lot of the time when I was quite young, I used to have imaginary conversations with my older self, who was doing great. But you're quite happy where you are now. Yeah, yeah. So why do you need yourself to tell yourself that in the past? Because past me was really sad. If it made you who you are. Would you rather fall for a straight girl or fall for your best friend's ex? Correct answer. Yeah. Don't yeah. hurt your best friend. And I was like, what if the best friend's ex is also straight? What? Like, or it's a guy. I buy for the straight girl. It's only me that's getting hurt. Exactly. That's why I, how I exactly. answer. Exactly. Would you rather have a baby that looks like you or like your wife? Because <laughs> mine will look so cute. I know. <laughs> they will have Chinese jeans. Chinese babies are really, really cute. <laughs> Just saying. Would you rather be known as a famous YouTuber or as a gay icon? What a question. <laughs> Why would you be like, yeah, just a famous YouTuber? No! I'm gonna be a gay icon! You are both, my love. Oh, thank You're you. You're both a famous YouTuber and a gay icon. That's very kind of you. Would you rather colour your hair in rainbow colours or get a rainbow tattoo? <laughs> I think that's quite obvious. You, you dye your hair and I have tattoos, so... We'd more like, we're just yeah, gonna follow, yeah. follow Oh that. damn, wait, I should've gone with rainbow tattoo because it didn't say where it was or how big. Exactly. It could be like this big and I've hidden it. Oh, Ooh, like it could be like the side of your finger and then if you hold it up like this, then I have my moustache. Oh, you could have it and then you'd match me. And then whenever I felt sad about my moustache, you could be like, don't worry, darling, <laughs> we match. <laughs> Would you girls rather play leading roles in an LGBTQ plus movie or write a book about an LGBTQ plus matter? Is it like a successful movie or is it a budget movie? <laughs> is it one is of it... those terrible movies where all the lesbians die in the yes. end? Is it a book that anyone will read? 
Because <laughs> I well, you've written it. Shouldn't you have some confidence in your writing? I feel like the book one could come true because I could just do that next week. Doesn't mean anyone's going to read it. <laughs> but like you know, like the, doesn't mean I'll ever get the published. movie. Like someone has to actually cast me in a movie. Jessica, would you rather go back to eating only leeks forever, or have to only wear trousers for the rest of your life? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to answer too. It was a tough one, but the leaks really hurt. Say you have a child through sperm donation. Would you rather have it be someone that you know personally that could be in the child's life, or have it be someone anonymous through a sperm bank? Yeah, I do not want them to be in the child's life. Nuclear family. I don't. This is attempting to be a square. I think. Particularly for Claudia, would you rather be transported into the world of the L word or have the L word transported into your world? Oh, but we would live in LA, it's always sunny, everyone has a pool, everyone, no, does, no one really ever goes to their job. Particularly for Claudia, you're not in that world. Oh, no. You're in this world. Oh, don't leave me, no. So then I wouldn't be right. with you, yeah. Yeah, they can all come here. So rather they got transported into this world and, and then... And one of them can kill Jenny. And also, we might not like them in person, and then I can be like, I'm just going to go back to my life. You carry on with yours. Would you rather have more LGBTQ plus representation in the media, or have more LGBTQ plus representation in sexual education in schools? Oh. oh. You think schools and I think media. To be honest, I think one will help the other. I think that if it's just in schools, the only people whose minds are going to be changing is that yes. generation. Whereas I think if there's more representation in the media, you're going to be changing the minds of adults as well. Would you rather have a gay character in every movie but they're always a tired stereotype who dies at the end, or have no gay characters in movies at all? I just couldn't answer that one. I think terrible representation is better than no representation. Would you rather gay marriage be legal where you live but nowhere else, or gay marriage be legal everywhere except where you live? Because <laughs> we're not assholes. <laughs> like, yeah. It can be illegal everywhere, everywhere the in the entire world. world, except for our country, and then we just leave our country. Yeah, I was going to say, we, could, we can leave our country, you know. Would you rather live together but never be able to date, or date but never be able to live together? Because this will just happen, especially in a small space. Would you rather give Walter and Tilly up for adoption in order to have children, or keep Walter and Tilly but never be able to have children? Oh, oh, thank God. Yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, I, children live to be, like, actual adults. I mean, hopefully they also live beyond us. They can contribute to the world and society. I mean, other than being so cute, she doesn't so really adorable. add much to the world. And look, she is only going... She's not going to leave as long as a child. Wow. So Thanks, have... guys. Thanks so much. And also, we're not killing her. We're just giving her someone else. Specifically for Jessica, would you rather never drink Diet Coke again or never wear dresses again? What? You'd never wear dresses again over Diet Coke? You could drink Pepsi! Exactly! I was like, I mean, it would be disgusting, I was but... I you could drink Pepsi Max. Would you rather Rachel Weisz or Emma Stone? Oh, no, I did it wrong. One. Were you going with Rachel Weisz? Yeah, yeah, Rachel Weisz, yeah. Oh, nice. I know I like gingers, <laughs> but... Rachel Weisz is captivating. Yeah, I've always fancied Rachel Weisz. Who since, the, since, like, the mummy. Would you rather have to be tied to each other by a rainbow that cannot go through doors, or have the Kool-Aid man break through a wall and yell, oh yeah, every single time you point out your flag in a public place? This is such a weird <laughs> question. <laughs> so, wait, we're tied together by a rainbow, but it can't go through doors. How do we go through doors? <laughs> As in, we have to go through together. Like if we leave, I think it means if we leave a room, oh, we can't ever not okay. be in separate rooms. We're just tied together by rainbows. We can't be in separate rooms now. What difference is that going to make? Would you rather rule the world but with the condition that you must give up your own happiness, your wife, doggies and vintage love, but everyone else is very happy and gets all of their rights, or refuse the offer and keep all that's precious to you and be happy? Well, you want to be unhappy for the rest of your life? Yeah, there's a lot of inequality in the world. Yeah, well that sounds pretty unequal to me. You could just, if you say, <laughs> because also, then it's not determining on you, is it? What, if I go with number two? Yeah because someone else might be given the option tomorrow and they might they might choose or everyone might be happy or everyone... everyone might say no and I'm the only one who might say yes on to a happier question would you rather have a single big dog or multiple small dogs 
I like dogs I can lift. Yeah, you don't lift like 20 of them. <laughs> I could put them in a carrier or a buggy. I like big dogs, it's just we don't have the space or the practicality to look And we're both allergic. Would you rather watch a terrible lesbian movie with a good ending or a good lesbian movie with a bad ending? Yeah. yeah, because it's like an oxymoron there. You said it's a good lesbian movie, so therefore you. Implying... I think the bad ending is like the lesbians die. Yeah, but you're implying it's already. Well, maybe they died of old age after spending all of their lives together. That was the film. Yeah. If it was a good movie that lesbians have a bad ending, then that's different, isn't it? But if it's a good lesbian movie, then the whole premise of the movie mm. is about lesbians and you've been portrayed well the whole also, way. Also, the bad ending could just be the apocalypse. Exactly. Which says nothing about lesbianism. Would you rather wear lesbian stereotype clothes for the rest of your life, flannels, beanies, combat boots, or only dress like drag queens for the rest of your life? What? <laughs> I mean, that seems way more fun. I feel very uncomfortable That's... if I had to wear flannels and beanies and combat boots. A drag queen with sequins. That's what I am. Would you rather both dress like Jessica, or both dress like Claudia for the rest of your lives. Yes, see? I did it for you, baby. I know, well also, I would feel super awkward wearing whatever you wear. I feel and super uncomfortable wearing your clothes, but... No, but also mine have a little love. bit more flexibility. You know, sometimes I wear dresses, you could wear those. Oh, loophole! Well, thank you so much for these questions. This has been enlightening. I mean, I think we've learned things about each other. Claudia is apparently fine with a rainbow moustache. Hopefully that does not factor into our marriage in the future. Shocking. Luckily you chose me over dresses though. Oh, of course, darling. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please press subscribe and remember to hit the little notification bell because that's actually what the subscribe button really is. The subscribe button is nonsense now, it's just the bell. Also, the Because Gay merch is out now and you can get it in the link down below or on the merch shelf, which you may also be able to see. Hope you enjoyed the Jesse and Claude show, <laughs> episode one. <laughs> Play outro music. It's one of those shows where we dance at the end. <laughs> I see.